Today we've got something special in store, a complete rundown of the Lilo and Stitch saga, from its humble beginnings to the grand finale. So here's the deal, it all kicked off with the 2002 movie Lilo and Stitch, then in 2003 we got another flick called Stitch the movie. But wait, there's more. They didn't stop there. They turned into a full-blown series spanning two seasons and a whopping 65 episodes. And guess what? The story kept rolling with more movies and even a cool short film that spilled the beans on Stitch's origin. So get comfy, grab some popcorn, because we're about to dive into this wild and wonderful world. It all starts with a court hearing. Dr. Jumba Jokimba finds himself in a heap of trouble when he's arrested by the Galactic Federation for some illegal genetic experimentation business. See, he created the snazzy Experiment 626, a super smart but chaos-loving critter. They lock up Jumba and send 626 packing to a desert asteroid. But our mischievous experiment has other plans. He steals a spaceship and accidentally crash lands on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. It's a rough landing, 626 gets knocked out by a trio of passing trucks and winds up in an animal shelter. Now, the Galactic Federation isn't too thrilled about this, so they send Jumba and Agent Pleakley, their Earth expert, to quietly nap 626. And now, let the intergalactic chase begin. On the sunny island of Kauai, there's a tough situation brewing. Nani, a young woman, is doing her best to take care of her spirited young sister, Lilo. It's not easy, especially since they lost their parents in a car accident, and Lilo's been having a tough time fitting in with her hula classmates and other kids. Enter Cobra Bubbles, a social worker who's got some serious concerns about Nani's ability to look after Lilo. He gives Nani a tight deadline of three days to prove she can handle it and even suggests she find a job. Nani and Lilo have a heated argument about the possibility of Lilo being taken away. Then, a curious thing happens. A falling star crashes down, and Lilo rushes Nani out of her room to make a wish. Lilo's wish? Well, it's a simple one. She wants a friend. Nani decides to grant her sister's wish and agrees to let her get a dog. So, off they go to the animal shelter, and that's where Lilo and Nani meet Experiment 626, who's, by the way, doing a pretty convincing dog impression to break free from captivity. Come here, boy. Despite Nani's reservations, Lilo names this unusual pup Stitch and introduces him to the island. Stitch may be a handful, but he's got a soft spot for Lilo and even stands up to the mean-spirited Myrtle. They start hanging out together, but things take a wild turn when Stitch goes a bit bonkers, tosses Myrtle off her bike, steals it, and takes Lilo on an unexpected island adventure. Well, now you definitely see that he is not your average dog. As Lilo and Stitch enjoy dinner at the Aiwawu where Nani works that evening, things take a turn for the worse. Jumba and Pleakley make an attempt to capture Stitch, but it all goes haywire. The chaos is pinned on poor Stitch, leading to Nani losing her job. The next day, Cobra, the social worker, gives Nani a stern warning. She needs to find another job fast, or Lilo might have to go to a foster family. Nani's on the job hunt, and Lilo tries her best to teach Stitch about Elvis Presley, someone she considers a model citizen. However, Stitch's mischievous behavior, including outsmarting Jumba and Pleakley, keeps sabotaging Nani's job prospects. Nani's friend David extends a helping hand by inviting Nani, Lilo, and Stitch to take a break and have some fun surfing. While they're riding a massive wave together, Jumba makes a final attempt to capture Stitch underwater, knowing that Stitch can't swim, and it leads to a wipeout that pulls Lilo under with him. Thankfully, they all make it safely to shore, but Cobra witnesses the incident and tells Nani that, despite her good intentions, Lilo might have to be taken away. Stitch, feeling guilty about causing so much trouble, runs off in a heartbroken state. The following morning, due to their lack of progress in capturing Stitch, the councilwoman gets frustrated and replaces Jumba and Pleakley with the more militant Captain Gantu. This change allows Jumba to pursue Stitch using less subtle methods, much to Pleakley's dismay. Meanwhile, David informs Nani about a job opportunity and she rushes to pursue it, leaving Lilo home alone. While hiding in the nearby woods, Stitch encounters Jumba who chases Stitch back to Lilo's house. A fight breaks out, resulting in the accidental destruction of Lilo and Nani's house. Cobra arrives to collect Lilo and take her away to a foster family. As Nani and Cobra argue, Lilo runs away and comes face to face with Stitch, who reveals his alien identity just moments before Captain Gontu captures both of them. However, Stitch manages to escape before Gontu's ship takes off and reunites with Nani. When they confront Jumba and Pleakley, who have captured Stitch, Nani pleads with them to help rescue Lilo. Initially focused on capturing Stitch, Jumba is reminded of the concept of family, which he learned from Lilo, and agrees to help. 
Together, Joomba, Pleakley, Stitch, and Nani set off in Joomba's spaceship and manage to rescue Lilo from Gontu's clutches. Back on land, the Grand Councilwoman arrives and is ready to take Stitch into custody while retiring Gontu for his failure to capture Stitch, which put many lives at risk during his mission. This included accidentally capturing Lilo and nearly causing harm to both her and Stitch by destroying his own ship in an attempt to capture them. Lilo, however, insists that, according to local law, Stitch is her pet and cannot be taken away. Impressed by Stitch's transformation and newfound civility and empathy, the councilwoman decides that Stitch will live in exile on Earth under the care of Lilo and Nani. She also reveals that Cobra is a former CIA agent whom she met back in 1973. She informs him that the family will be monitored by the Galactic Federation. With the support of Cobra, Joomba, Pleakley, and David, they rebuild their house. Joomba and Pleakley become members of Lilo and Stitch's family and they all enjoy their time together as a loving and unconventional family. Now it's time for the next movie. The film begins with ex-captain Gontu aboard his new spaceship since his original one was destroyed in the first film. He receives a mission from Dr. Hamsterveel to capture the remaining 625 experiments. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Stitch is still struggling to fit in and accidentally causes another mishap. Lilo tries to comfort him by telling him he's unique, comparing him to Frankenstein, but it only makes Stitch feel worse. Suddenly, a loud crash disrupts the calm. Lilo and Stitch rush downstairs to find Gontu breaking into their home. In the chaos that ensues, Stitch bravely tries to fend off Gontu, but ends up trapped in a net. Gontu discovers and takes a blue pod labeled 625 before kidnapping Joomba for interrogation. Determined to rescue their friend, Lilo and Stitch commandeer Joomba's spaceship and pursue Gontu into outer space, engaging him in a fierce battle. However, they're eventually overpowered and sent plummeting back toward Earth. At home, Lilo, Stitch, and Pleakley stumble upon the container Joomba had hidden. To their surprise, it contains the other 625 experiments in a dehydrated state. Pleakley warns them not to reveal the secret or rehydrate the experiments. Despite Pleakley's advice, Stitch and Lilo decide to retrieve the container and accidentally hydrate Experiment 221, who immediately escapes. Meanwhile, Joomba remains a captive aboard Dr. Hamsterveel's spaceship. Hamsterveel, a surprisingly small, rabbit-like alien, tries to intimidate Joomba, but fails. In a desperate move, Hamsterveel activates Experiment 625, who possesses all of Stitch's powers to assault Joomba. However, 625 turns out to be a lazy coward who prioritizes making sandwiches above everything else, providing Joomba with an unexpected advantage. In the midst of these events, Pleakley manages to establish contact with Hamsterveel's ship via a telephone. Hamsterveel reveals his demand. He wants all 624 experiments in exchange for Joomba's release. When Pleakley relays this information to the other family members, Nani contacts Cobra Bubbles for help. The following morning, Cobra arrives, already aware of the situation. Meanwhile, Lilo and Stitch set out to capture Experiment 221, who has been causing trouble at a hotel. Later, Pleakley and Cobra arrive with the container, not realizing that it only contains 623 experiments. They hand it over to Hamster Wheel, who is shocked to discover one is missing. Just then, Lilo appears with Experiment 221, now named Sparky, contained within a glass vase. She declares that Sparky is part of Stitch's and her Ohana. Unhinged, Hamsterveel threatens to shoot Joomba if she doesn't hand over the experiment. After some contemplation and hearing pleas from Cobra, Pleakley, Joomba, and Hamsterveel, Lilo and Stitch make the courageous decision to set Sparky free and free Joomba from his restraints. At Cobra's signal, the Grand Councilwoman's ship emerges from the nearby ocean, aiming its weaponry at Hamsterveel. However, Lilo protests, expressing concern that Hamsterveel possesses the other experiments. Sparky, overhearing this, decides to take matters into his own hands. Sparky uses his electrical powers to disrupt the power on the councilwoman's ship, leaving it temporarily incapacitated. Meanwhile, Hamsterveel and Gontu manage to climb back aboard their own ship with the captured experiments. In a last-ditch effort to thwart Hamsterveel, Lilo and Stitch secretly board his ship as it departs, with Sparky stealthily following them. In a climactic struggle, Lilo and Stitch manage to seize the container containing the other experiments. However, their battle with Gontu over the container results in its accidental opening, causing the dehydrated experiment pods to rain down and scatter all across Hawaii. Hamsterveel, frustrated but not defeated, reveals his sinister plan to clone Stitch a thousand times over. He orders Gontu to deal with Lilo as he pleases. Gontu, following orders, prepares to send Lilo to an intergalactic zoo using a teleportation pod. Meanwhile, Stitch finds himself in a dire situation, strapped to a weight just slightly too heavy for him to lift. 
He desperately tries to evade being dissected by a laser for the cloning process. In a surprising turn of events, Sparky, having undergone a transformation, demonstrates his newfound sense of compassion and reformation. He sabotages the cloning machine, causing it to short-circuit. Sparky and Stitch then free Hamster Wheel, who ends up strapped to the malfunctioning device. Together, they rescue Lilo from Gontu's clutches. With Hamster Wheel securely handcuffed, Lilo, Stitch, and Sparky hatch the plan to short-circuit Gontu's ship, causing it to crash near a picturesque waterfall on Kauai, leaving Gontu feeling utterly humiliated. After safely landing Hamster Wheel's ship back at the rendezvous point, they find a fitting new home for Sparky at the Kilauea Lighthouse, rekindling its long dormant beacon. Their next mission is to persuade the understanding Grand Council woman to grant them the opportunity to rehabilitate the other 623 experiments, ultimately leading to the humorous activation of experiments 202, 529, 455, 489, and 390. In the end, Jumba and Pleakley, once again left stranded, hope to finally make their way home with the Grand Councilwoman, but it seems their journey was far from over. After all of this, we can finally move on to the series which mainly focuses on the gang finding all the lost experiments and finding them a new home. On a beach, Experiment 513's arrival triggers earthquakes. Gontu, under Dr. Hamster Veal's orders, who is in prison by the way, aims to capture the experiment. Lilo, Stitch, and Jumba prepare for quakes and Nani is called to work, leaving them by themselves to confront the situation. They realize 513 causes the tremors and devise a plan to immobilize him. A confrontation with Gontu ensues, leading to Stitch's dilemma when a cave collapses. With Jumba's help, they return to save Lilo and Stitch, who must prevent 513 from destroying the island. After a showdown on Gontu's ship, they rescue 513 who helps save the island. Stitch rewards him with an orange ball, and Lilo finds his one true place as the milkshake mixer at the beach shack. Later, Experiment 375 activates, causing chaos by possessing objects and creating messes. Stitch is believed to be the culprit and is prosecuted, but they soon learn that he is innocent. After a chase, they discover 375 seeks attention and lead him to Mackie Macau's, where he puts on a show resolving the conflict. During a spa visit, a mutt fight ensues and Lilo and Stitch are asked to leave. Outside, they encounter Experiment 177, who is causing havoc by eating people's hair. Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley resolve the situation, and 177, now named Clip, finds her one true place at a salon. Lilo rescues Experiment 254, whom she names Mr. Stenchy due to his irresistibly cute appearance. Despite Jumba's warning that Mr. Stenchy is a walking stink bomb, Lilo becomes infatuated with him and wants to keep him. However, after capture and rescue, Jumba sends Mr. Stenchy to Pleakley's home planet, where the smell is highly valued as perfume. On Halloween, Stitch becomes terrified by a shape-shifting blob with green eyes. Lilo identifies the blob as Experiment 300, designed to manifest people's worst fears. After some scary encounters, they capture 300 and it finds its one true place scaring trick-or-treaters and haunting the old abandoned house on Halloween. One day, Experiment 520 causes havoc during a sand sculpting contest. With the help of Jumba's ex-buggy, they track down 520, rescue him from Gontu, and calm the scared experiment. Lilo finds Cannonball's one true place, making waves for surfers at the beach. Lilo and Stitch enter a junior dog show in Honolulu to compete against Myrtle and her dog Gigi. Along the way, they meet Gontu, who is searching for an activated experiment. During the chaos, Stitch manages to save Gigi, who is revealed to be Experiment 007, designed to annoy people with her barking. Stitch wins the title, Myrtle offers them the trophy, and Lilo decides Gigi belongs with Myrtle. During an argument between Lilo and Stitch, two experiments, one representing fire and the other one water, activate simultaneously. Lilo and Stitch both insist they can capture an experiment on their own, while Gontu enlists Ruben's help to catch both experiments. Eventually, Lilo and Stitch realize they need to work together to capture the experiments. Lilo names them Yin and Yang and repurposes them to create a new island, averting disaster. Lilo and Stitch capture the experiment 032, a lie detector named Fibber, who forces people to tell the truth. Gontu steals Fibber, who causes chaos in a spaceship with his truth-revealing powers, resulting in Hamster Veal putting Gontu on probation while 625 and Fibber become friends. Stitch becomes egoistical due to his recent successes, so Jumba creates Experiment 627, an extremely powerful and arrogant counterpart to Stitch. Stitch competes with him to catch experiments, resulting in his defeat and admission of inferiority. Later, Experiment 627 becomes Gontu's new sidekick, tormenting both Stitch and 625. 
Eventually, Stitch and Lilo discover 627's weakness, his exaggerated sense of humor, and use it to defeat him, dehydrating him back into a pot. Stitch learns humility while Jumba hints at the creation of Experiment 628. Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley discover the presence of Experiment 602, nicknamed Sinker, who sinks ship by slicing them with his dorsal fin. They head out to capture him, but end up stranded at sea. However, after some shenanigans, Stitch successfully captures Sinker with chains and reverses the ship's props to beach it safely. In the end, Sinker finds his one true place as a sushi chef in a Japanese restaurant. Lilo and Stitch's peaceful day is disrupted when they encounter Experiment 624, a flirtatious pink experiment with the ability to turn good experiments evil. Despite initial doubts, they bring her home, but 624's song influences other experiments, turning them evil. It's revealed that she was part of Hamster Wheel's plan to create an army of evil experiments. Lilo and her friends manage to reverse the effects of 624's song and turn the experiments good again. However, Gontu captures 624 and escapes, leaving Stitch and Lilo determined to rescue her in the future. Dr. Hamster Wheel sends Experiment 010, also known as Felix, back to Gontu due to his obsessive cleanliness driving him crazy. Lilo and Stitch initially bring Felix home, but Felix starts viewing them as germs to be eliminated so they reprogram him to be less obsessed with cleanliness. However, in turn, Felix becomes a source of extreme messiness now. Lilo and Stitch clean up the mess before Nani returns home, leaving the house tidy. Unable to handle Felix's newfound messiness, Gontu takes him back only to find that Felix is wreaking havoc on his ship. When a virus-like experiment 222 infects Pleakley with embarrassing symptoms, Lilo and Stitch shrink themselves to enter his body and capture it. Inside, they face various challenges, but when Gontu captures Pleakley, Stitch takes control of him to escape. They successfully capture Triple Two and exit Pleakley's body just in time, but Gontu becomes infected with the virus and experiences the same embarrassing symptoms he had intended to inflict on others. Lilo and Stitch are faced with a love-inducing experiment, Honka Honka, which causes people to fall madly in love with the first person they see. Kiani, Lilo's crush, becomes infatuated with Pleakley after a peck from Honka Honka, leading to confusion and chaos. Lilo decides to use Honka Honka's power to make Kiani fall in love with her, but eventually has a change of heart. Stitch and Lilo work together to capture the experiment, and after a series of comical mishaps, they manage to do so, using water to deactivate its power. Lilo's growing obsession with capturing experiments starts to disrupt her daily life, causing her to be late for hula class and neglect her responsibilities. Nani warns her about finding a balance, but Lilo remains fixated on her mission. Stitch becomes increasingly concerned for Lilo's well-being as she dedicates long hours to cataloging experiments. One day, Stitch accidentally activates Experiment 360, which induces a deep sleep in people. Hamster Wheel sees an opportunity and plans to kidnap the famed Regis Philbin, the most powerful human on Earth, using Experiment 360. Stitch takes over Lilo's duties while she is asleep, including her role as an Aloha greeter for Philbin. When Gontu attempts to kidnap Philbin, Lilo and Stitch step in to protect him. When all of this is over, everyone, including Philbin, falls into a deep slumber. Lilo and Stitch refuse to eat Nani's nutritious breakfast, leading her to realize that Pleakley has been allowing Lilo to eat unhealthy junk food. Nani bans junk food from the house, prompting Lilo, Stitch, and Pleakley to go on a hunger strike. In a bid to satisfy their unhealthy cravings, they activate Experiment 062, French Fry, who cooks up a feast of unhealthy but irresistible food. They gorge themselves without realizing that they're rapidly gaining weight. French Fry continues to feed them and they grow even fatter, even accidentally rolling over others. Gontu arrives to capture French Fry, but he too succumbs to the food and leaves overweight. They eventually discover French Fry's true intentions to eat them and defeat him with Nani's help. The next day, they return to normal eating habits, with Lilo enticed by Nani's imaginative oatmeal. Lilo befriends a new girl named Victoria in her hula class, sparking jealousy in Myrtle, who wants Victoria as her friend. To prove she's normal, Lilo plans a Lilo's Not Weird party. Oh, what a great idea. You show him, girl. However, Experiment 358, Swapper, swaps the minds of Lilo, Stitch, Joomba, and Pleakley. Lilo, in Stitch's body, tries to ensure the party's success while Stitch has to pretend to be her. Chaos ensues, especially when Hamster Veal and Gontu, whose minds are also swapped, show up. Swapper is eventually defeated and Victoria enjoys the unconventional party, becoming Lilo's new best friend. Victoria becomes frightened of a bat-like experiment, mistaking it for a vampire after it attacks her. 
she decides to join forces with Gontu to eliminate the experiment. Lilo tries to convince Victoria that they can capture and reform it, but Snooty, the experiment, incapacitates Stitch, pushing Victoria further toward Gontu's plan. Later, Victoria realizes the mistake she's made and decides to help Lilo instead. Meanwhile, Gontu receives false information from Ruben, claiming that Hamster Reel has cut off all TV channels except the Sandwich Channel until Snooty is caught. In the end, it's revealed that Ruben lied to have the TV to himself, and they all enjoy watching the Maki Macau show together. During the Proud family's visit to Hawaii, chaos ensues when Experiment 397, also known as SPATS, is accidentally activated. Spats with the power to induce arguments and conflicts cause a series of brawls among the Proud family members, as well as other hotel guests. Lilo and Penny, determined to capture Spats before Gontu does, find themselves quarreling as well. However, Penny discovers a way to neutralize Spats' effects by counting to 10, and with her quick thinking, she manages to dissolve the conflicts among everyone. Eventually, Spats finds his one true place among Wizard Kelly's pro wrestlers, while Penny finishes her school report about her Hawaiian alien adventure. During a game of hide-and-seek, Stitch is abducted by an aircraft, leaving Lilo worried. She initially considers using Joomba's ship to rescue Stitch, but Joomba advises against it since it's not working, and he insists that she can go on dangerous missions without 626. Pleakley suggests seeking help from Kim Possible, a highly efficient secret agent, and they send her an urgent email for assistance. Kim Possible, along with Ron Stoppable and Rufus, arrive to help Lilo save Stitch. Lilo is initially hesitant to accept their assistance, but eventually teams up with Kim. Meanwhile, Dr. Draken and Shigo have captured Stitch and plan to clone him. Kim and Lilo join forces to rescue Stitch and Kim, who are imprisoned in an underwater base. After a daring escape, they return to the beach, where Jumba initially mistakes Rufus for one of his experiments, but Stitch corrects him. The day ends with Lilo teaching Kim to dance the hula, and everyone enjoys their time together. Now that was a fun crossover. On the anniversary of their parents' passing, Lilo and Nani are both overcome with sadness, and Lilo takes a nap to cope. Meanwhile, a newly activated Experiment 276, capable of invading dreams and turning them into nightmares, enters Lilo's dream. Joomba, Pleakley, and Stitch enter the dream using a teleportation spatula to capture 276 before Lilo wakes up, as her waking while 276 is inside her dream would trap it there forever. In the dream, they confront 276 as it transforms Lilo's pleasant dream into a nightmare. After a series of challenges and encounters, they reach a door leading to another part of the dream. When Lilo starts to wake up, Pleakley goes back to convince her to stay asleep, giving her an old family picture to help her remember happier times. The picture works, transforming the dream into a peaceful beach picnic with her family, defeating 276. They capture 276, reprogram it, and find its one true place as a virtual reality game at the local arcade. When Lilo, Stitch, and Nani have a picnic on the beach with David, leaving them feeling happier. In a comically clumsy turn of events, an experiment named Whoop inadvertently foils Dr. Hamsterville's near capture by his vigilant prison guards, prompting the villain to return all the captured experiments to Gontu for safekeeping. However, once Gontu reluctantly releases the troublemaking Whoop, chaos ensues as the mischievous experiment threatens to derail Pleakley's aspirations of becoming a domino champion. After a series of mishaps and antics, Lilo steps in and temporarily houses Whoops in a glass tube, with predictably hilarious results. Somehow, Whoops manages to find his way back to the domino tournament, setting off an accidental chain reaction of chaos and destruction. Yet, in a heartwarming twist, Whoops eventually discovers his perfect home at a bowling ball arcade, wrapping up the adventure on a delightfully positive note. So these were some of the more entertaining episodes from the series, now we can move on to the remaining movies. At the beginning of the movie, Stitch finds himself in the midst of a wild nightmare where he's afraid of going back to his mischievous ways, which might spell disaster for Earth, and even worse, hurt his beloved friend Lilo. Thankfully, Lilo comes to the rescue, waking him up and soothing his worries with her unwavering belief in his goodness. She decides to put his kindness to the test by assigning a few good deeds. Realizing they're running late for hula class, they embark on a zany adventure, zipping off to their destination in their trusty hovercraft. During their hula class, Kumu surprises everyone with an exciting announcement. They're all going to perform at the local May Day Festival. Each student must choreograph their unique dance, and Lilo is particularly touched when Kumu shares a treasured picture of her mother participating in winning the festival in her youth. After class, things take a bit of a downturn when Myrtle delivers a mean-spirited comment, suggesting that Lilo can never measure up to her mother. This provokes Lilo, resulting in a rather unorthodox scuffle. 
Stitch, in his impulsive nature, captures the whole brawl on camera but forgets to delete the evidence later. Kumu starts to doubt if Lilo is prepared for the competition due to the fight with Myrtle. However, our spirited heroine is undeterred and promises, not once, but triple promises, to do her best. As the duo prepares for the upcoming performance, they hit a creative roadblock, while Nani encourages them to unwind during their family fun night. Watching the classic film Them together takes an unexpected turn when Stitch's past starts catching up with him, triggering a wild rampage in their home. It turns out that after Stitch's creation, Joomba's work was interrupted by the intergalactic police, leaving him with incomplete programming. Initially, this glitch sends Stitch spiraling back into his destructive habits, but more importantly, it puts his very existence in jeopardy if Joomba can't create a fusion chamber before Stitch runs out of energy for good. Meanwhile, Stitch's turbulent outbursts threaten to drive a wedge between him and Lilo, casting a shadow over her prospects in the hula competition. Despite their best efforts to find inspiration for their dance, Stitch's erratic behavior due to his molecular troubles keeps throwing a wrench in the works. Lilo, who's earnestly focused on winning the competition, becomes increasingly frustrated with Stitch, erroneously thinking that his new conduct is intentional. In her preoccupation with success, she starts neglecting her cherished friend. In a stroke of creativity, they decide to base their hula on the legend of Hayaka. However, Stitch's malfunctioning antics during their practice sessions test Lilo's patience to the limit. To make matters worse, Joomba faces a hiccup in constructing the fusion chamber, having to resort to using everyday household objects. Just before the competition, Stitch arrives to wish Lilo good luck, leading to a heartwarming reconciliation. Joomba finally manages to complete the fusion chamber, but in a sudden twist, Stitch has another disruptive episode. In the midst of the confusion, Lilo approaches him, inadvertently getting scratched on the face. Stitch is devastated by this accidental harm to his dearest friend, realizing he'd never want to hurt her intentionally. At last, Lilo grasps that something is amiss with Stitch. She attempts to communicate with him, but Stitch, overwhelmed by guilt, believes himself to be too dangerous and decides to leave Earth. Right in the middle of her eagerly awaited performance, Lilo ditches the stage to help her troubled friend. As Stitch attempts to leave Earth, Lilo and her family embark on a frantic mission to bring him back and recharge his dwindling energy. During his departure, Stitch experiences yet another tumultuous episode, resulting in a crash landing deep in the lush Hawaiian mountains. Lilo races to the crash site using the trusty hovercraft from earlier, finding Stitch on the brink of collapse. With haste, she places him into Joomba's fusion chamber, hoping to save her beloved friend. But sadly, time slips away, and Lilo is left in tears as she watches Stitch's life flicker away. In a heart-wrenching moment, Lilo takes Stitch out of the chamber and clings to him, sharing her heartfelt realization that while she always believed she needed him, it was, in fact, the other way around. Tearfully, she declares him to be a part of her ohana, promising everlasting love. Then, in a magical turn of events, akin to the legend of Hayaka, Stitch is brought back to life through the genuine love of his family. Together, the family, along with David, takes off to the stage where Lilo was supposed to perform her lula. They join hands and perform Lilo's dance together, creating a beautiful and touching moment. Nani reassures Lilo that their mother would be immensely proud of her, and as if on cue, a twinkling star in the sky serves as a celestial nod of approval, reaffirming the bond of love and family. After successfully rounding up all 624 experiments over the course of three years and turning their lives around on Earth, Lilo, Stitch, Joomba, and Pleakley receive a hero's welcome from the Galactic Alliance. They attempt a heartwarming ceremony at the High Council home base on Planet Turo, where they're showered with rewards and honors. Joomba's lab key is returned, Pleakley is offered the prestigious role as the chairman of Earth Studies at the Galactic Alliance Community College, Stitch is appointed as the captain of the Galactic Armada and commander of the awesome BRB-9000, while Lilo is bestowed with the title of Galactic Federation Ambassador to Earth and entrusted with the care of Stitch's adorable cousins. As they bid farewell, Lilo shares a piece of her heart with each of them, an Elvis record for Joomba, a quirky Earth Rock paperweight for Pleakley, and the Ku Tiki necklace symbolizing Hawaiian strength for Stitch. In his ship, Gantu hatches a rather mischievous plan after realizing his failure to capture all of the experiments. He decides to break Dr. Hamster Wheel out of prison, embarking on a two-man space shuttle adventure and leaving 625 to his own devices. Together, they manage to engineer Hamster Wheel's daring prison escape. Upon hearing of this alarming development, Stitch is assigned to the task of recapturing Hamster Wheel and Gantu storm into Joomba's lab, where they coerce Joomba into creating a sinister twin of Stitch, known as Leroy, with the intention of challenging the Galactic Alliance. 
In a dramatic showdown, Stitch arrives. But an unexpected appearance by Pleakley at just the wrong moment ends up distracting Stitch, allowing Leroy to lock him away in a glass capsule. Hamsterville then unveils his grand scheme to clone an entire army of Leroy's to seize control of the Galactic Alliance. As he departs for Turo with his nefarious plan, Hamsterville leaves Joomba, Pleakley and Stitch stranded in Pleakley's ship, sending it hurtling into a mysterious black hole. Back on Earth, Lilo's determination to contact Stitch leads her to a rather unexpected location, the only intergalactic video phone available, which happens to be on Gontu's ship. There, she encounters 625 and, in her characteristic style, promptly renames him Ruben. When Lilo asks to use the video phone, Ruben initially claims it's broken. However, after Lilo affectionately names him, he has a change of heart and agrees to assist her. Once the video phone is up and running, Lilo makes contact with the BRB-9000. In a twist, Leroy tries to impersonate Stitch using his shapeshifting abilities, but fails to fool Lilo, as he lacks Stitch's distinctive tiki necklace. Hamsterville then orders Leroy to descend to Earth, with the ominous task of capturing all the other experiments and eliminating them. Sensing that Stitch is in dire straits, Lilo seeks Ruben's help in repairing Gontu's ship. Meanwhile, as Joomba, Pleakley and Stitch approach the black hole, Stitch manages to break free and liberate the others. However, the navigational computer is irrevocably locked onto a course toward the black hole, which will transport them to a perilous volcanic planet and spell their doom. There's a slim chance to escape this fate. By tossing a small object into the black hole to disrupt the event horizon, they could potentially end up somewhere else. That's when Pleakley produces the rock that Lilo gave him. And despite initial concerns about its weight, Stitch takes a bite out of it, then bravely hurls it at the black hole. In a dazzling flash, the vehicle gets sucked in, setting the stage for their next adventure. Back on Earth, a mischievous Leroy clone manages to get hold of Lilo's cherished scrapbook of cousins and swiftly rounds up all of them, even including Myrtle for an unexpected twist. Lilo and Ruben make their way to Turo, but alas, they arrive too late. Hamsterville has taken control of the situation, even making the Grand Councilwoman his receptionist. He orders Gontu to detain them, which Gontu reluctantly does. However, a change of events unfolds when Hamsterville dismisses Gontu, leading to his decision to release Lilo and Ruben. Their brief freedom takes a harrowing turn as they find themselves cornered by numerous Leroy clones. It seems all is lost, until the unexpected arrival of the GACC van. With no time for explanations, Lilo, Ruben, and Gontu hop in and speed towards Earth. Back on Earth, the original Leroy has gathered all the experiments in a massive stadium for Alohapalooza. The BRB-9000 appears and Hamsterville prepares to erase all the experiments, but Lilo, Stitch, and the others arrive just in the nick of time, thwarting the BRB's primary cannon. Hamsterville unleashes his Leroy army as backup, setting the stage for an epic showdown. Stitch rallies his cousins and the battle ensues. Despite initial successes by the experiments, it becomes apparent that their adversaries are indeed formidable. In a stroke of genius, Joomba recalls a secret shutdown command he programmed into Leroy. Playing Elvis Presley's Aloha Oe will deactivate them. Stitch appears on stage in his Elvis attire, serenading with Aloha Oe, while Lilo and Ruben join in, causing the Leroys to convulse and shut down. Hamsterville's plan is foiled once again and he is apprehended. Back at Galactic Alliance headquarters, they are hailed as heroes of the Alliance. Stitch, Joomba, and Pleakley request permission to return to Earth with Lilo, a request granted by the Grand Councilwoman. She also offers Gontu the opportunity to be reinstated as the captain of the Armada on the condition that Ruben serves as his galley officer. Back on Earth, Lilo prepares for one final photo. Myrtle arrives with Gigi, who astounds everyone by talking, revealing herself as one of Joomba's experiments. Lilo's closing picture in the album features all the experiments remaining on Earth. Myrtle, Joomba, Pleakley, Nani, David, and herself. Meanwhile, Hamsterville, along with Leroy and his clones, is returned to prison, where they dance to the tune of Jailhouse Rock as the credits roll. And thus, end the adventures of Lilo and Stitch. What do you think? Was it among your favorites when you were little? Let us know down in the comments, and as for everything else, drop us a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to Cartoon Mania for more awesome tunes like this recapped on your feet. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!